Manny 2.0 and I am back here with another video for you guys. Shout out to all my real ones. If you are a real one, then that means you're subscribed to this beautiful, lovely channel. And if you are not, then yeah, something must be really wrong with you because you have yet to hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell so you can get notified about all your girl upcoming videos, period. All right, y'all. So as y'all can tell from the title, this is part two uh the rapper wanted a threesome story time which i don't really want to call it a part two i mean i guess i can whatever anyway because so many of y'all was like uh-uh 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 manny you got to tell us about what happened that night between you and chelsea so i was like Okay, I guess I'll get him the tea. I guess I'll tell him about that little situation. I don't think this story is actually going to be that long, y'all. But y'all asked for it, so I'm going to give it to you. You already know, Manny 2.0 do not like long intros. So let's go ahead and jump into this goddamn story. All right, let's do this. All right, so after that night out of town and that whole situation with Chelsea, Honestly, things still were the same between us. We were still cool. You feel me? We was always like homegirls. So we were still cool. We would still hang out. Um, all of us would actually like go over to Brianna house. If y'all remember, Brianna is the promoter. Yeah. We would all link up at Brianna house. Sometimes it'd be me, Brianna, Chelsea. And I want to say Chelsea had like a god sister or niece, something like that. They used to like come over there as well. So we all used to click up at Brianna house, have fun, little girls time. And Brianna was still promoting. So we would still be going out of town with each other or whatever, spending time and everything would still be a vibe. Now, if you watch part one, you already know how my girl Chessie is. My girl Chessie don't hold her tongue. If she wanted, she gonna go get it, period. So Chessie would still make comments, y'all, about how she wanna, you know. <laughs> know eat my suck on my look you know she'll still make little comments or whatever here and there but like i said it will all just be funny to me fun and games or whatever right so i remember y'all chelsea started hitting me up okay which wasn't nothing out the normal because i told y'all like we would text we would talk on the phone we would hang out at brianna house still going out of town together so yeah nothing out the ordinary but Chelsea basically start telling me like I wanna I wanna eat that. Bruh. But y'all like Manny, she been telling you she wanna eat that. No, 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 no. Ladies and gentlemen, whoa, 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 wait. Baby girl was basically telling me that she wanted to eat it, not as in I wanna eat it, like she been saying. Like, we need to set up an appointment because time is money and mine is funny. And, yeah, I'm trying to eat that. So, I need to set up an appointment to eat that. And I ain't even going to lie, y'all. <laughs> a part of me thought she was playing. But then y'all going to be like, man, y'all, sh you should have done good and doggone where that girl was not playing. Because she was never playing from the jump. But a part of me low-key did feel like, y'all, okay, maybe she just, she just playing. And if anything, if she ever do come to my house or if I ever go to hers. You feel me? In my mind, I'm just like, shit. At most, we just gonna hang out like we do at Brianna Crib. When we go to Brianna Crib, we just gonna hang out, chill, woo de woo de woo Y'all, Chelsea kept hitting me up, y'all. Kept hitting me up. Trying to set an appointment. Not literally an appointment, y'all, but like dead ass. Like, it was no more talking. It was on some let's link to do this shit for real like bitch i'm trying to i'm tired of telling you this let's link to do this so i remember it was a few times y'all we were supposed to link right but i just feel like how can i put this our schedules conflicted because you know she got a job i got a job she had a child i got a child so you know our schedules would always just be yeah so we would text about linking her to let her eat it Bruh. <laughs> but y'all it was like like i said it was always like schedules conflicting you text back or i don't text back i don't text back you don't text back it would just it would always be something somebody don't answer the phone you don't answer the phone i don't answer them just something y'all it would always be something to where the linkage would never happen on this one particular day y'all 
Chelsea, I want to say she called my phone and I didn't answer. Not on purpose, but you know, I wasn't around my phone at the time. I went back to a letter and saw that she had called. So she ended up calling again and I'm like, well, what do, what do Chelsea want? So she ended up sending a text, I believe, basically telling me that she was on my side of town. Because that's another thing. Me and Chelsea stayed on like completely, completely, completely opposite sides of town. So she was like, hey, girl, I'm on your side of town today. My such and such stay out this way. You know, I think she had a family member that like stayed out my way. She was like, hey, I just left from my such and such house or whatever. I'm out your way. I'll come pull up or whatever. Da, 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 da. And of course, Chelsea wasn't saying, I come pull up on you like, oh, we finna hang out. Chelsea was like, bitch, are you home? Cause you feel me? I'm out in your area and I'm trying to put my face in your case. And yeah, like, so I ain't gonna lie to y'all. My heart was like beating fast. I started getting nervous. I don't even know what the fuck I was getting nervous for. I think because every other time we had discussed this it never went through you see what i'm saying but this time i knew it could go through because she calling me she literally out here in my area right now she just waiting on a yes or a no so i'm like oh shit it could really go down right now so now i'm contemplating with myself Y'all don't know what I'm talking about when I say this. Y'all ever been home and somebody asked you, was you home? And you was trying to decide if you was home or not. Bruh. That was me at the moment. Because, of course, I love Chelsea. I ain't had nothing against her. But I was a little scared because I told y'all Chelsea had been at my throat. She had been at my neck. And I knew something in my head told me that when Chelsea got my, she was going to eat it up and I was scared like but what was I scared of I don't know but I was like she gonna eat it up so y'all I decided to stop being a little punk because I'm like okay what are you scared of like no seriously it's just head Bruh. like what are you scared of either it's gonna be good or it's gonna be bad like you get what I'm saying like what what are you so scared of like just let the girl come over and let her eat it up <laughs> all right y'all so i tell chelsea that i'm home or whatever and she's like cool you feel me i'll be over there in like 15 20 minutes all right y'all so boom 15 20 minutes i'm like okay i got to hurry up take me a shower all this little shit because i want to say it was like a sunday and i don't know how sundays are for y'all but sundays are kind of like just you feel me like chill out days for me so that's the day where I'm just laying around the house watching TV type thing. So now it's like, okay, you finna have company. So, you know, you got to get up, wash your ass, all of that. And she finna eat it. <laughs> so, you know, jump up, take me a shower, put some clothes on, lotion my body. You know, you got to make sure your skin soft and you're smelling all good and all of that right there. And I'm not going to hold y'all. The whole time that Chelsea was on the way to my house, I still felt like y'all ever had a stomach bug or uh, y'all ever like, I cannot put this. Y'all ever had a stomach bug or y'all ever been like really, really nervous and it feel like you got the bubble guts. Bruh. Like that's how I was feeling y'all. And y'all know sex is not the time to start feeling like you gonna have the goddamn bubble guts. So I'm trying to calm myself down. Y'all I'm trying to, Y'all, I don't understand what the hell I was so scared of. What is you so, what is you so scared of some head for? But y'all, I'm really trying to, <sighs> so Chelsea finally makes it to my place or whatever, right? And so we go in my room or whatever, right? And, of course, this is the first time me and Chelsea done linked on this type of tabbing, right? So, low-key, a part of me in my mind, even though Chelsea had been basically telling me this shit for so long, something in my mind, y'all, was telling me, like, well, maybe Chelsea ain't about that life. Even though she done gave me every sign that her ass is, and she definitely wanted. it. And my mind, y'all, I'm like, well, maybe... Maybe she not living like that. You know, maybe maybe she'll just come over here and watch the TV. You know what I'm saying? And just chill and want to talk. You know, maybe, maybe, 
Maybe I'm just all nervous and tripping for nothing. That is not correct. Y'all, y'all, me and Chelsea probably had conversation in my room for probably like three, four minutes. That's it. Like literally, we probably talked for like three, four minutes. And then Shawty was ready to eat, to do what she came to do, period. So y'all, Chelsea started pulling at my love pants or whatever, because I remember at the time I had some shorts on. So she pulling on my shorts or whatever, trying to get to the hot pocket or whatever, y'all. And Chelsea finally gets my pants and my panties off. And I'm just like, ah! Y'all. Chelsea opens up my legs. Okay, y'all. Let me, let me, let me, let me try to give y'all a little visual. I'm laying on the bed. Chelsea gets in between my legs. Y'all. Y'all know they say when they lay down like a sniper, they finna do they motherfucking shit. Chelsea lay down on that bed, bitch, like a motherfucking sniper, bitch. And she went to eating that thing, y'all. Chelsea started eating it, y'all. Like, she was she was eating it. But it was like, it was so soft. Her tongue was so soft, but it felt so good. Like, oh, I mean, I, let me stop. Let me stop. And sus was like down there doing the goddamn, what that shit called? The damn June ball challenge, the damn beatbox shit. She was down there. Bruh. Like popping her lips and shit. I'm like, do your shit then. Ryan with a G shot. I heard he shot. This whole make a beatbox. Y'all, that shit felt like so fucking good. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. That shit felt good. Chelsea knew what the fuck she was doing. Like, it felt amazing. Y'all ever seen uh, Beavis and Butthead? Y'all remember um, on Beavis and Butthead? If y'all had seen Charm Moon, it was like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Y'all, that's how the head had me like, uh, uh, uh. This is one of you, baby, right now, y'all. But that shit was so motherfucking good. Bitch, I know I bust in all of a minute. Maybe two. That shit was so goddamn good. Bitch, I felt like a goddamn 13-year-old boy or something losing his goddamn virginity in the wettest, tightest. Wooch. So, so I'm trying to tell Chester, like, stop, stop, stop. Because, bitch, I'm really dead ass finna go into convulsions. Like, bitch, stop, stop. Do y'all know what Chelsea fucking tells me, y'all? But wait, Manny, I'm not finished. I still gotta eat it from the back. Y'all, I looked at her like, not on my watch. Who coochie you finna eat from the back? Not mine. Y'all, when I told y'all I couldn't have took no more, no more from her, no more. And if you ever got some good head before, I'm talking about, how my boy Future say sensational. Then you know that thing be real tingly, real. You know you be want nobody down there for a little bit. So she talking about, but well, wait, I'm not finished. I still gotta eat it from the back. You will not be eating nothing from the back today. You will be getting up out of here, Chelsea. <laughs> so you feel me? I'm basically telling Chelsea like, listen. We gonna have to do this from the back thing at another time, at another day, because. Yeah, you you not putting your mouth on me no more. Point blank period. I'm sorry. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot. So after that or whatever, Chelsea was over there for a few more minutes. She wasn't uh, over there for that long after we had our little situation. So I remember us going outside or whatever. Y'all know I smoke. So, you know, I roll up smoking a little bit. We just outside talking for a little bit before she leave. And I remember before her leaving saying, well, Manny, you know, you taste really good. So... Let me know when we can do this again. But yeah, y'all, that's the end of this story time. Like I told y'all, it wasn't that long. Um, I do believe now Chelsea is married. Either she's married or engaged one. And I just saw like a week ago on social media, she's pregnant. So congratulations to Chelsea. But yeah, that's the end of this story time, y'all. I told y'all it really wasn't that long. But y'all wanted it. So, you know, Manny 2.0 going to get the people what they want. But even though it was not that long, I hope you guys still enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a nice, lovely thumbs up. 
And if you have not in the beginning of the video like you were supposed to, because y'all really be wanting me to look if you buck, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can get notified about all your girl upcoming videos, period. Like I done said enough, I done talked enough or whatever and all that good stuff. I love y'all. Until next time with the next video, peace.